Hi, um, welcome to 3ds Max tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply um, material textures on uh, Greeble by using gradient ramp. So first, um, if we're going to do this in um, uh, urban design, um, we'll just creating a plane, uh, 25 by 25 segments, and applying a Greeble on it. Set the min height to 5 and the maximum height to 30 so you get a quite a clear um, idea of where the height goes. Um, and now to use the material to show the difference in um, heights, we are going to do that through uh, material editor. So under the default comes under, like you go to the map and then under diffuse color select the map. Instead of using bitmap, we're going to use gradient ramp. Press OK. As you can see, the color here responds to the gradient ramp parameter he um, here. Before you start anything, be sure that use real world scale is untick. And you can start changing the color by double clicking on the um, arrow. I'm going to make this uh, quite a drastic color, like a foot loop, I suppose you can say that. And um, if you want to add another color, just click in the middle. Another arrow will be, will be add, double click to change. And you can change the color to anything that you want it. I'm gonna make this really bright and quite colorful. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, I'm just uh, showing you that there are many, many different ways, and um, this way is actually really useful. You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay. So we've got our rainbow colors going on here now. While selecting the object, um, select Assign Materials to Section and click here. So as you can see, um, the color is going vertically. It's not going to the way that we want it. So um, in order to change that, go to Modifier List and choose UV to be map. Okay, now it's all super colorful and um, just make sure that it's under planar. That's fine. Um, the reason that it looks like that now is because the alignment is on the uh, sat exit x axis. If it's on Y, it doesn't seem like it's changed much, but what we want is we want an X. Um, as you can see, now the gradient's um, gradually moving from the bottom to the top. You can change the color vertex through here. So you can make it, see? So as you reduce the width, it's easier to clear like where, which bit's at the top, which is not at the top. And the fruit loops kind of give you a pretty clear indication of where things go. Now if you look on the top view, you can see that um, blue is kind of like the middle point. Okay, maybe not the middle point, it's like um, near the top, but the highest would be purple and the lower bit would be closer to green, as we could see some in here and there. Um, this is a quick way to show the height difference of the materials. Um, I mean, off the buildings, and I think it is quite nice to have some bright colors. Mm. Okay.